If you do Python, you use VirtualEMS a lot. And if you don't, you should. VirtualEMS are great. But there is a downside. You need to manage them, create them, install modules in them, activate them to be used by each program and deactivate them later. Remember the names of each environment for each program, etc. This is the problem that Fails solves, handling all the virtual ems automatically, and you only need to specify which dependencies you need. Let's take for example this script, which uses a cowpy module to print a funny mousse with a welcome message. We can see that we don't have this library installed in the system. We can execute this script with fails, indicating that we need the cowpy dependency and fails will create a new virtual env, install the dependency and then execute the script in that environment. See how fails show that it's hidden the network to install the, ne the needed dependency the first time we do this, but the second time it already has the virtual env catched, so it will just use it, no delay or noticeable work. If we want just to experiment with the library, note that if we execute fails without specifying a script, it will just open an interactive interpreter in the context of a virtual env having the specified dependencies. If you are used to use IPython, no problem at all, fails supports it. Fails even supports any version of Python. So, for example, if you need to do some experiments using Cowpy, but in Python 2, you can specify that to fails and it will create a Python 2 virtual env and do the right things there. Specifying multiple dependencies is very simple. Just repeat the parameters all the times you need it. See which version you have. By default, bring, Fails brings the latest version. But if you want to specify a version of the library, you can indicate it. And Fails will install the specific version. It's normal in the virtual env world that projects have all the dependencies specified in a file, already prepared to call pip install on it when you are in a virtual end. Fails supports it as well. Of course, you can run an interactive interpreter, but also you can use it to run a script. For a script, we can even make this all even more automatic, which is great because it will make the script completely autonomous and will never need to remember again how to execute the script or which dependencies it needed. To achieve this, we need to mark the script as executable and then let the system know that it needs to use phase to execute it. We can even mark inside the script which dependencies needs to be installed by phase in the virtual env, just by adding a comment in the proper import. After those changes, Nothing needs to be remembered to run the script. That was the basic use of fails, but there is a lot more. It's common to run Django projects inside virtual ems, but how could to create the project if you still don't have Django installed? It's very easy with phase because it supports executing a script or binary installed inside the virtual env which opens multiple possibilities. See how the, we created a directory with all the projects with the desired Django version. Other common case is to execute the tests of a project in the environment specified by that project. You can even put this command in your project test script and collaborators won't need anything else than fails to run your project test or even to start it. Fails is quite more complex. There are several other options that you can use. A common one is to make it create a virtual env that uses stuff installed in your system too, in case you have a dependency that cannot really go into a virtual env. 
for example, PyCute. And here finishes this small presentation about Faith. Hope you enjoy it. Best way to unleash all this power is to install Faith in the system. Follow the install link here. Also, feel free to check the documentation in read the